Gentlemen, we interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to bring you this special bulletin. We have traveled so deep, so far into clown world that I'm not even sure if we're ever going to get back to reality. And why would I say that? We have gotten to the point where if you disagree with someone, you're automatically racist. You are judged. You are called a racist, even though you don't bring up the color of someone's skin. And it's infected every aspect of entertainment, every aspect of life, and it has gone above and beyond to infecting the video game industry and having an opinion to the point where today, good old Cabrutus Rambo made an announcement. An announcement for his lovely, lovely, wonderful little list, his information, informative little list concerning sweet baby stench and the video games that they're involved in because people simply want to know. Everyone has an opinion on Sweet Baby, whatever you want to call them, because, well, they've said a few things, their employees have done a few things, so just wanting to get it out there, wanting to get out information. Today, we talked about this lovely little game called Zao. Hope I said that right, honestly. Cabrutus comes out on good old X Twitter, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Sup, guys? Just want to, I couldn't do his, I wonder if I could do his accent, Brazilian accent. I would do it terribly. What's up, guys? Just want to remind that Zao is going to launch today, April 24th. Well, that is today. I believe it's on Xbox Game Pass, not Game Pass. Oh, I'm sorry. PlayStation Plus uh, the Expert Extreme, whatever. The extended, the, the second one, the more expensive, second most expensive one. The game is on Sweet Baby Ink Detected Curator page. And yes, it's connected to Sweet Baby Ink. Remember to vote with your wallet. Now, I want you to pay very close attention to this tweet. These, these three. Three little sentences. Just want to remind you, Zao is going to launch today. Okay, information. The game is on Sweet Baby Ink Detected Curator page because it is connected with Sweet Baby Ink. The Canadian consulting company that assisted with consulting in this particular game. Tales of... I can't read that far. I think it starts with a K. My eyesight is terrible. I'm old. Remember to vote with your wallet. Pay attention and remember this lovely, lovely little tweet because, my goodness gracious, social media X, these lo my people have spurred out online. And I'd like to do what I do so enjoy doing is point and laugh and observe the straw man at its best. It would make the scarecrow from The Wizard of Oz look like Einstein. First one over here, I'm sorry, but I can't pretend that these are not the dumbest people walking the face of the earth. Why? Because we want to put information out there. Simple information. The most important thing before you make any sort of financial purchase, before you open your wallet, vote with your wallet. If you like the game, if you like the look, by all means, buy the game, play it, and let everyone else know what you think. If it's good, tell everyone why. But... If you want to stay as far away from anything and everything connected to SBI and good old Kim Belair and her almost mafia style tactics. not They're not almost mafia style tactics. They are mafia style tactics. Take the marketing department out for coffee and terrify them on what might happen if they do not agree to what you want to put in the game. Mafia style tactics. These tactics are offensive to quite a few gamers. And, well, we want to make sure that developers out there, whether they are AAA or indie, stay away from these people. Stay away from companies like this. You can vote with your wallet by purchasing the game. If you want to support it, you have all, all the power to do so. Some people simply choose to not. That's how they vote with their wallets, by shutting them tight. But let's go on. Because, man, this isn't even the half of a... DEI is just a racial slur. Huh? It, what? DEI is a racial slur. Is there anywhere on this tweet that you remember? Let's go back to it so you can see. Do you see DEI anywhere on this? Seems like you're injecting DEI. So you firmly believe that Sweet Baby Inc. inserts, forces DEI into video games. So obviously it's a racial slur. Oh my goodness. What are you trying to say? Is the mask slipping off a little bit? Ah, good old Adam Canwell. AC Revolution! By the way, don't, don't talk to these, don't, don't harass any of these people. 
they they have eaten enough paint chimps with their room temperature IQ that they do not need any more pushing. Okay, they probably get in. Moving on. Uh, I'm very angry and I don't know why. No, we know absolutely why we're angry. Something something DEI. Hey, look at you. You rhymed. Well, congratulations, Adam. You are a lyricist. Still room temperature IQ. We don't know why we're angry. Yes, we absolutely are. Because an individual like Kim Belair came out and said, terrify them, the marketing department, on what will happen if you do not agree to what we want to put in the game. Okay? Anything connected with Sweet Baby Inc. or Kim Belair or the other CEO, we don't want anything to do with it. Period. It's just that simple. But the comments get better. Mighty Keefe. I don't know. People involved in, in the fucking console wars that I will never understand until I die. Mighty Keefe is part of the console war. A black man made a game themed in his Kenyan culture. And cool. Good for him. And people in the comments are saying things like DEI. Well, that has nothing to do with the developer or the setting. It has to do, oh, Mighty Keefe, with Sweet Baby Inc. consulting company being involved in the game. It has nothing to do with the protagonist. It has nothing to do with the setting. And it has nothing to do with the developer. But I guess you would know that if you weren't so disingenuous with your argument. Gaslighting, straw man, nonsense. This is what I mean when I say people just like, sh just say shit. They hear others say without having any idea what the word means. You mean kind of like what you're doing right here, Mighty Keefe? Because that's exactly what you're doing. You're running your mouth, trying to claim DEI when nothing in Cabrutus Rem Rambo's post said anything about DEI. It said, Zhao is added to the Sweet Baby Inc. Sweet Baby Inc. I'm dying over here. <coughs> he said Zhao is being added to the Sweet Baby Inc. detected page because Sweet Baby Inc. was involved in the game. Vote with your wallet. That's it. I'm getting the game just to spite those weirdos. Cool. Good for you. I hope you get a decent return on your investment. But don't come into this thread, into this discussion, with such nonsensical accusations when you obviously don't know what you're talking about. I love Fritanga. Listing off companies that worked on a game is racist now? Well, of course it is, because it goes against the narrative. Obviously, it's racist because, look, a black man made the game. He's Kenyan. Well, I believe his father was Kenyan, is the story. And, oh, he's British. And the game takes place in a rather diverse location, so obviously, if you boycott the game, you are a racist. That's what all this means now. By the way, that's called a straw man argument. It's nonsense. You're a racist. It doesn't mean anything. You don't have proof. I'm racist because I don't want to be involved with SBI with Sweet Baby Inc. video games. Okie dokie. Now, we're going to get to this little comment in a second because it's actually a copy from someone else. But this, this is the gem of them all. This wonderful, wonderful, risk it the last console purist. You misspelled peasant there. This pure racism and it disgusts me. Okay, so again, ladies and gentlemen, where is it? Sup, guys, just wanted to remind you that Zhao is going to launch today. This game is on Sweet Baby Inc. Detective Curity page. And yes, it is connected to Sweet Baby Inc. Remember to vote with your wallet. He's not telling anyone not to buy the game. He's not mentioning DEI at all. He mentions, hey, Sweet Baby's involved with this game. It's on the list. You just made the list. And yet, room temperature IQ individuals like this who ate too many paint chips as a child, yes, I'm sorry, I like the saying, are coming on and on and on, over and over, trying to claim racism. Why? It's because a black man made the game, and there's a black man on the cover of the game. Now, you figure out which one of those um, conclusions is racist, is rooted in, what's the word they like to use? Subconscious racism. Assuming that people against Sweet Baby Inc. are racist because, oh my god, you don't want to play the game because there's a black man involved. No. No. It's quite clear in everyone's argument, mine included. We don't want to... We don't want anything to do with this game because Sweet Baby Inc.'s involvement. There's no other reason. 
whatsoever. But with your wallet, let these developers know. But good old Risk It the console peasant goes on with this beautiful, beautiful gem. Trying to claim it's different because it's a double A game. So this, let's see, Fritanga. Go watch his channel, Fritanga Plays. Listing off companies that worked on a game is racist now. Well, we all know that's not true because we have more than half a brain cell and way above room temperature IQ. I repeat myself. So I'm going to find a different joke, okay? Leave me alone. So this isn't just curating a list, even though that's exactly all it's doing. It's now targeting studios for harassment. If that were the case, it would be studios on the list instead of video games. It is not studio because then... EA would be on the list, I'm sure. There would be a nice laundry list of game of studios because Sweet Baby Inc. has the studios on their website. There's no searching for it. No one's targeting the studios. They're simply targeting the games. You console peasant. Whilst I'm against checkbox diversity, well, then there we go. And a lot of SBI's comments. So, hey, we're done. You agree with us. You agree with us, console peasant. I'm console purist. I'm sorry, console purist. Oh, but let's, but this is different. Okay. Um, uh, oh, let's find out how. Let's go along with the journey. Let's point out why it's different. This is an indie studio. Irrelevant. Releasing its first game. Don't care. They needed some contractors to fill in blanks. Um, ir indie studio. I don't care. And neither do other gamers. Okay? Neither do other gamers. First game. Cool. Why did you feel the need to get a consulting company? Okay. Issue number one. Done. As far as I'm concerned. It's original IP about a black man created by a black man. Again, that's more irrelevant information because nobody cares. Nobody's brought it up. Except... You, your side, trying to defend this nonsense, trying to defend SBI's involvement when that's the only reason nobody wants the game. That's not checkbox. Nobody says it was. When you're attacking diversity, nobody's attacking diversity. They're attacking SBI's involvement. This is where the straw man comes into play. Trying to divert the argument away from the actual issue. Sweet Baby Inc.'s involvement is the reason why nobody wants anything. Well, I don't want to say nobody, because we're going to own the chuds by buying 10 copies of the game. Cool. A lot of people did that with uh, Hogwarts Legacy. Come on, move on. Do we, you do you. You do you, boo. Okay? But people are deciding they don't want to be involved with Sweet Baby Inc., so they're leaving, getting away from the game. Has nothing to do with diversity, original IP, or whether or not a black man did the game. Diversity did on right. Again, irrelevant. You're screwing an IP that deserves better. Well, if the game's good, and your side actually does go out and buys multiple copies to own the chuds, own the racists, then the game's gonna do just fine, sweetheart. Number three, the story is about dealing with grief. Again, more irrelevant shite that has nothing to do with Sweet Baby Inc.'s involvement. The studio head, who cares, who wrote the story lost his dad. Now, that is a terrible thing. I lost my mother recently. Well, I say recently, a year and a half ago. Okay. And I do not wish that grief upon anyone. One day I will lose my father. It is just a thing. It's just a way of life. One day my children will lose their father. Of course, that really doesn't matter. I won't be here to grieve it. Anyway, uh, I do not wish that grief and that pain on anyone. However, it has nothing to do it doesn't give you a pass okay you lost your dad i'm sorry you made a game that his life inspired cool that doesn't give you a pass in any way shape or form it's intrinsically linked to him and the story comes from him not sbi then why did sbi why is sbi involved why hmm? Not every SBI game, not every game SBI touches just automatically turns to shit. What's happening here is wrong. Well, like everyone has said, and like I've said quite a few times, hmm, then we don't want to be involved with the game. We don't want the game that Sweet Baby Inc.'s involved in. How about that? Just done. That's it. 
If you want to back yourself, feel free to jump on my podcast, a space, or anywhere you want, and we can publicly debate this. I won't run and hide like many do. It has nothing to do with running and hiding. The points that you are making on why this game should be purchased and defended and why people should buy it and play it. Well, then I said that twice. Anyway. Your points are meaningless and irrelevant to the entire argument against purchasing of the game. Sweet Baby Inc.'s involved. That's why people don't want it. It has nothing to do with racism. And none of this information is relevant to the subject. But that was a lovely little journey. Let's make sure that everybody understands what Cabruta said. So, to close out, Zao came out today, April 24th. The game, Sweet Baby Inc. was involved in the game. You make that decision for yourself. Vote with your wallet. Not one part of this game, of this post, said, Do not purchase this game! Not one part of this post says anything about the character's race, or the developer's race, or anything like that. So, please, tell me. For a bunch of individuals who claim racism and point and accuse you of being racist, who's actually the one, only group bringing up color around here? Judge for yourself. Vote with your wallet. Let me know what you think in the comments. Leave a like, leave a dislike, and do all those nifty little things that YouTube is beginning to do, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye-bye.